world. Welcome back to another CTF Learn Challenge video. In this video, we'll be walking through the programming challenge, simple programming. Let's get into it. Can you help me? I need to know how many lines there are where the number of zeros is a multiple of three or the number of ones is a multiple of two. Please, here is the file. Okay, so when you you know go to that link, you're gonna get this data.dat file. And if you open it up, you'll see that it's just a bunch of lines of binary essentially. And our goal is to count the number of zeros and ones and then perform a math operation on them to determine whether the number of zeros per line is a multiple of three or the number of ones is a multiple of two, which I'm guessing is an inclusive or. That being said, let's go ahead and write a little script that can do that for us. Well, first, you know, we want to keep track of how many lines there are, right? So let's go ahead and define us a count variable. And then let's go ahead and open up our file. So we'll do a with open data.dat. Okay. And we'll open it as F, which is just basically assigning it a file pointer. Then we want to make sure we loop through line by line, of course. So we want to say for line in F dot read lines. And what that's going to do is it's reading the file in terms of lines, and then we can loop through it line by line because this separates it by new line characters, which we know are what's dividing each of those lines in that file. So if we say for line in F dot read lines, we can then start composing our if condition. We want to check to see, hey, is the number of zeros in this line a multiple of three, or is the number of ones in this line a multiple of two? It's very simple to do that. There's a dot count function where we can actually count instances of characters. So we'll do if line dot count and we'll say zero and it's not an integer zero, right? Because when we read lines from a file, it automatically reads them as strings. So we'll say if line dot count with character zero and that's just getting the count of the number of zeros and we'll say mod three equals zero, because if it's a multiple of three, it should be divisible by three. And so the remainder should be zero. Or line dot count one mod two is equal to zero. Then we want to increment our count. Okay, and that's all there really is to this one, I think, hopefully. We didn't miss anything, but at the end, we'll just print count. Now let's run it and see what we get. 6,662. So if we take that value and we paste it in to the flag, we got the challenge, correct? All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.